I know, babe. So that's when I said to him, they're not flam accents, they're Swiss army triplets. <laughs> What's that? Babe, roll the intro. Hey, hey, what is up, YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. This one popped up on my Facebook homepage. And uh, I clicked on the link because it was such an interesting title. Polyphia Drummer's Monitors Fail Live. Drum Tech taps tempo on his leg for the rest of the show. <laughs> Don't think. Feel. Now this is uh, via metalinjection.net, by the way. So kudos to metalinjection.net. Now if we scroll down here, He's hitting him with a drumstick. You kidding me? Like whiplash style. This is ridiculous. Polyphia played the May 27 date of the So What music festival and things went a little rockier than they may have looked to the audience. According to a video posted by Belmont guitarist Jason Tyler, Polyphia drummer Clay Ashleman's in-air monitors failed sometime during the band set. This meant that Ashleman couldn't hear his Polyphia bandmates at all or have any sort of metronome to keep himself in time. Fortunately, Ashleman's drum tech Chris Lent came over to tap out the tempo on his leg. And of course it helps that Ashleman knew the music by heart. And the story carries on. Seriously though, how impressive is this? Check out the video. And Jason Tyler is saying the most impressive display of musicianship I think I've ever seen in person. Let's check it out. That's scary. Now, just a quick mention uh, before I get into this and uh, break down my thoughts on this. Um, I have already done a video on Clay Ashleman on the channel, and I think I'll, I'll roll some of those comments through uh, this section of the video. So, mental note to myself when I'm editing the video, roll some uh, comments through because there were some great comments on that video. And as a drummer, I mean, as you can tell from that short clip, sensational, phenomenal clean drum. I actually got some critiques on my video that I did on that one because it was highly requested. What was it called? OD, I believe it was. Um, uh, I, th I think there were comments along the lines of, ah, looks like you you don't like him or, or, or I don't know. There was some weird feedback on that one of, out of all my videos. And I think it was just, I think so much in the zone with that one that I didn't actually give a lot of feedback. I was kind of just mesmerized. So please don't misunderstand. If I'm really quiet during a video, it's possibly that I'm just really enjoying it. Anyway, some thoughts on this one. My first thought is if the drum tech is tapping Clay Ashleman, why he must have had, I didn't notice actually, was he on in-ears as well? The, the tech or did he have headphones on? Why wouldn't he just give those headphones to Clay? There might be a really obvious answer there that I'm not sure of. Um, another aspect to this, and I know that a lot of non-musicians and a lot of non-drummers watch this YouTube channel. So I'll try and explain a few things here. So what has happened here is for whatever reason, it looks like his in-air monitors, which are little um, earbuds, for one of our fancy earbuds with a seal. So they're fitted, they're generally custom molded to your ears. I've had those done myself. Um, it's a really weird feeling actually when you put them in, it's a perfect seal and you can't hear a lot uh, with them in at all. 
um, which means you get a really clear um, signal going into your ears and you actually don't need them that loud because you've sealed off a lot of the noise from outside. Um, it does mean for me personally, because I don't play with them a lot, it does mean that you can, it feels like you're almost playing in a little bit of a bubble. You're in your own little world um, and you, he will still be hearing the band. He'll still begin to mix as per the traditional fallback monitor speaker system that you know uh, we used for years and years and years decades it's just that it's coming through those little in ears he won't he won't be hearing the click of the band um or any potential tracks i don't know if polyphia use any tracks that might be heresy to even say that you can correct me in the in the comments uh, of course if they don't um but in this situation i've done loads of shows loads of shows um in that situation where there have been click tr click track and backing tracks playing that you know i've got to stay in sync with so if if those didn't work you're in a little bit of a panic because you're essentially flying blind and um in this situation for whatever reason again i don't know why they didn't give them a separate set of headphones Maybe they just couldn't jack anything up um, quick enough or or that was appropriate or I, I don't know what the deal was, but they've, they've resorted to the drum tech tapping his leg. Again, just to clarify, he will be part of what he's hearing in his um, in-ears aside from the band, the rest of the band and whatever he needs to hear from his own drum kit, probably a little bit of kick drum and, and you know, whatever. Or, or a lot of kick drum or a lot of drum kit in general he will be getting that click 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 um and that is essentially what's holding everything together and holding everything in time so without that yeah it's um it doesn't matter how good your time is you're not going to be able to play a 30 minute show uh, with potentially with tracks and all that kind of stuff with everybody else on tracks uh, I suppose you could do that but um, it's just not how you would have practiced how you would have prepared for the gig and it looks like a you know a really big gig as well so you want to deliver the idea of this external click sometimes a click can be visual and this is essentially what a conductor gives you they give you essentially a, a like if you're in an uh, orchestra or a musical theatre situation, they give you a visual, what is essentially a visual click and indicates the time signature also. Situation like this, there's no conductor, obviously, right? They're outsourcing this to a click, a tempo um, that is letting them know if they're in time and what the time is on each particular song. The idea of a pulsing click or in this case uh, a stick hitting your leg that idea is actually not completely strange it's strange that a human being's doing it in real time um you would want that uh, you would assume the drum tech's got really good time himself you'd want that to be very very metronomic but that idea now there is a thing called i think it was by Soundbrenner. i'm gonna bring it up here yeah and by the way this is not I'm not affiliated with Soundbrenner at all, but you can get a vibrating metronome. What is it? A watch? Gonna have a look here. I've, I've never really looked into this too much. I just know about it a little bit. Feel powerful vibrations. Experience vibrations seven times stronger than the average smartphone. That's what she said. <sighs> Don't hear it, feel it. Silent metronome. No more annoying audio clicks. Free your ears for the music. Really, really interesting. So this idea of the time being either a visual thing, an audio thing, or, or that feeling thing, like you actually physically feel the, the pulse, the tempo. Um, so not completely strange and out of the realms of possibility or what you know how you can practice or how you can play to a click but certainly a very very interesting one i'm really surprised that that situation would arise 
Man, I I can understand the sheer panic. If your show is as highly synced and tight like Polyphia, you know, it relies on this metronomic power to to create this momentum and to lose that would be really really scary super super interesting video and thank you to the facebook algorithm for alerting me to that guys thank you so much for watching i'm going to link to polyphia in the description of the video check them out they are i've only heard one song of theirs that od that i did the reaction on and it was awesome loved it Hit me up if there are any other great Clay Ashleman, I'm sure there's many great Clay Ashleman videos that I need to check out and um, what you thought of this video. Until next time, ciao.